Oh, y'all. This feels like the longest decade ever, and we're only five months into 2024. So um, I wanted to tap into the energy of the aftermath of Kendrick Lamar's smash global hit, Not Like Us. After this song dropped, it was like napalm to the OVO camp. Drake's life has been upside down ever since. I have never seen such a velocity to come behind a diss track, not even after Hit Him Up and No Vaseline did we see this type of movement and Hit Him Up is one of the biggest and best diss tracks ever known to hip hop. We didn't see this behind Ether. I mean, this song came through like a tidal wave. So now that we're a week into Not Like Us, Kendrick has removed all copyright restrictions on his songs so content creators on every platform around the world can make money off of making um, content off of his content, we are seeing people be arrested for breaking into the embassy, which is known as Drake's house out in Toronto. Um, Drake's ghostwriter Daylight has come forward and dropped his own diss track towards Drake. And Lord, God have mercy. Um, here it is on Monday the 13th. We've got some extremely disturbing allegations with Drake and possible... Um, how do I say this? Because I don't... Ooh, I don't, don't want to get this video striked. Um, let's just say affections towards animals. And it sounds so, ooh, I feel messed up to even say that. But without any further ado, can somebody mark this video uh, at the 2 minute and 50 second mark? And we're going to go ahead and tap into the energy of the aftermath of Not Like Us. Okay. I never thought in a million years I would see a song so big that it would cause people to be crip walking in temples in Morocco. Um, it's, this song is pretty much number one globally, okay? This man broke one of the biggest records ever for streaming in 20 minutes from the whole world rushing to hear this track. So, Let's tap in, y'all. Goodness gracious. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, tap me into the energy around Kendrick Lamar and the Not Like Us song. Now that the song is out and the fallout is coming behind it. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. So, Ten of Pentacles, yes. This song is not just making him a lot of money. He put a lot of money in people's pockets around the world. Anyone that's doing content on this song right now is making their money, okay? And I just addressed that with him allowing everyone to do content and make money off of this song. Interesting enough, cards coming out face down. Um, King of Wands. 
Yeah, this is addressing the fallout. So you got a king of wands, which is um, a person who is either a very attractive male or a very visible male. Someone very sought after that is in heartbreak, three of swords, due to facing the karmic laws and the justice that could come behind this. Also possible legal ramifications that come behind the accusations in this song. Um, I don't see these accusations coming for Kendrick, but here it is, Kendrick, and y'all, Kendrick came through like alchemy, okay? You see this crown on this person's head, even though we know that he was wearing a, a crown of thorns representing the Messiah and him being crucified, his actions led to you know, huge heartbreak for Drake because now things are going to um, come to the point to where there has to be a balance that has to be brought out of this. Um, I did a live last Monday where I stated in that live for Kendrick Lamar and Drake that Drake could possibly be facing investigations that could lead to charges no earlier than June, but possibly no later than the first of the year. And these new allegations that are coming out definitely are going to cause people to look a lot closer into what's going on with him. Um, for those of you that don't know, the Canadian media has really, really taken this story and they're investigating every nook and cranny after the you know um security guard was injured at drake's home due to a drive-by they have gone as far as to start investigating all of drake's companies starting with the security company that is parked outside in front of his home and the Canadian media is saying that that company is a shell company and that Drake's name is on the company, but there's only one employee, which would be the man who is known as Chubbs, who is the lead of his security. And Chubbs is also the one that Kendrick let us know was facing some very unsavory charges that aligned with the theme of the song. Okay, so when it comes to Kendrick, once again, the Will of Fortune and the Three of Wands, this was a ship's coming in for him. This brought blessings. This brought finance. This brought all types of accolades. This put him in a whole different... Um, it's a whole different tier, a whole different level as far as his lyricism and also professionally um, what he is to get out of this. I don't think he thought this song would be this big, but he knew that it would definitely hit hard. So this is him coming with this message, Knight of Swords, and then you got the you know, Nine of Cups, which is him coming forward with this message was a wish fulfillment that turned into a hangman for Drake. Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So there was a collaboration that helped to put this together, okay? And it made him the King of Pentacles, also the Ten of Pentacles up under this. Um, there are three people in particular Three people in particular, not to say necessarily that they all collab with each other, but there are three people in particular that are very, very pivotal here in this situation that it's like, um, loosely it is a concerted effort because I'm hearing the term, take the head off the dragon. It's like one person couldn't do it alone. 
but these three in their own, you know, in their own way, they contributed to the, they contributed to the takedown of Drake like David took down Goliath. And you've got the card of truth here, which is the Ace of Swords, which falls under the King of Wands, which means there is truth, there is validity, uh, excuse me, can't get my words together. There is truth and there is validity to some of the accusations, if not all, allegedly, that are being brought to the table that discuss the actions thereof, this King of Wands, that are attached to... Um, this party lifestyle. And this also is saying that once again, this is a third party that happened to make this happen that caused a celebration for Kendrick. And that's also something that I got before when Drake was saying that, you know, he set him up, he leaked the information. I never spiritually got that. I always got that it was someone that was very close to Drake that leak the information and that he hasn't been the best to his employees. Um, there are some employees that may not have been getting paid and they were secretly disgruntled. So this was also an opportunity for them, allegedly, for get back. So you got the Seven of Cups here and the Nine of Swords and it falls under Heartbreak. And this is, you know, putting plenty of consideration into your actions, um, having anxiety even. So he may have had, you know, a ball of nerves in his stomach, not knowing how this song was going to hit, how it was going to re be received, not knowing what the consequences and repercussions were going to be once this song dropped. But it ended up turning into to gold. Um, hell diamond even because you're looking at this song ended up becoming the will of fortune that led to a blessing because it was the ships coming in and the song also became international which represents this ship in the three of wands and then at the bottom of the deck you got the six of pentacles this is Kendrick giving the opportunity for everyone to eat. He made sure everybody made money off of this, not just him. He spread it the wealth, almost like a Robin Hood. And this Wheel of Fortune came from sharing information that came from the past. Things that happened in the past in secret, the moon. The magician. So, you know... Um, all three of these wands in this uh, three of wands also represents the three diss tracks that, you know, manifested out of this, which came with the Knight of Swords, which was him coming forward with this wish fulfillment, the wounded warrior. This is somebody who takes a lick and he keeps on ticking. You kept coming for him. He kept fighting and coming back. You kept coming for him. He kept fighting and coming back. And when someone has tenacity, you can't beat a person with tenacity. And then you married tenacity with skill, and there you go. King of Cups. So this is showing me that even though Kendrick doesn't appear to be an emotional person, he felt very deeply about the, the diss tracks that were released. Um, and this is where the passion came from for him to release you know, this uh, knight of swords to come forward with the message that he had because it's like, I'm literally going to make people walk away from you due to these secrets that are attached. And here it is, eight of wands, nine of wands. So swiftly he struck back and let's remember, he dropped what, several songs and like, 36 hours, two of them weren't even in a 24 hour period. Like Drake dropped a response and before his response could even be uploaded by the content creators, Kendrick was back. So 
So the emperor and the two of wands. So he's, he's um, it's, it's like he felt like Drake forced his hand in some kind of way. A choice had to be made. Once he talked about um, his parenting, because we got to remember the emperor is a father. He he had to make a he had to make a choice. He had to make a decision. Once you brought my family into this, once you brought my child into this, I don't necessarily think the last straw was him talking about his wife. It feels like energetically the last straw was when he said that his child. Um, belong to someone else. It's like I already was going to come back around and get you for speaking about my wife, but to speak about my child, to speak about my family unit when the beef was with me. It was all the, it was all the ammunition he needed. Four of Pentacles. So, yes. There there's a big three here for sure that um, definitely whoever after this is a part of that big three, they're going to have financial stability. It's like they're going to expand their fan base. They're going to make more money. They're going to be more stable, more locked in, more solidified after this. This almost feels like a coup. Like this was, this was like overthrowing the... Um, the emperor, the king. They they literally overthrew the king. Knight of Cups. Okay, so Knight of Cups represents there was an offer. Um, someone came forward to Kendrick allegedly to make an offer, possibly like a peace offering after he dropped this song because there are some truths allegedly in this song about the actions of this king of wands that could have him locked up, Eight of Swords, allegedly. Yeah, and here it is. This is like, now it's like people are getting defensive. <laughs> Folks are like, hey, you've got to apologize. You know, they're, you know, threatening how he works, how he moves forward, allegedly. But this gave him, um, <laughs> oh, sheesh. This gave him balance through a new beginning because now you have people streaming his whole entire catalog, but this balance through the new beginning, which is temperance, which just came out at the bottom, you know, of this deck, this temperance also represents angelic energy and this angelic energy is resetting the, the playing field here. And strength represents for me, not just the Leo, but this is my Lion of Judah card. So this is God himself getting involved. And for sure, somebody is gonna be facing some, some charges one way or the other. Um, there's no way around it. Now, if anybody goes to prison, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But I do see investigations that could lead into someone um, having to sit down. So when Kendrick said, you better not go to uh, cell block one, baby, I promise you he was not kidding. This is getting messy. Yeah, eight of pentacles, king of cups. So here it is, the Eight of Pentacles falling under the King of Cups and the Knight of uh, Swords. Y'all, something is going to be illuminated soon because the bottom of my deck says the Queen of Swords, the Sun, Judgment, and what is this? The Three of Cups. There's going to be third party information that's going to come out about things that happened allegedly while people were partying. Um, we'll, we'll say, you know, hashtag FOs possibly. And there is going to be judgment. There's going to be scrutiny. There's going to be a lot of public scrutiny. There's going to be people examining this to see what type of uh, direction that this could possibly go legally, allegedly. 
So here it is, the lovers and the king of swords. Like I said, you forced his hand. Once you talked about the inner workings of what was happening with his marriage and his child, he felt like if anybody's going to come forward and tell the truth, it's going to be me. You can't tell my truth, but I can tell yours. It's the energy of don't try to destroy me with a lie when I can kill you with the truth. Jeez. Queen of Swords. Hangman. Y'all, hold on to your britches. Somebody's going to come forward with uh, some information soon that's going to be a hangman to this uh, Knight of Cups. And a Knight of Cups will be considered the lover boy because they come forward to offer a cup to engage with you. Okay? See this? King of uh, Swords. Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. The sun. Oh, this is about to get messy. There's a lot that's about to come to the light. A lot that's about to be illuminated in this whole entire situation. Kendrick's song gave birth to a huge elephant in the room being addressed. And this is only a week later. This is the energy that I'm getting a week later later eight days later and here's the hangman like i said accusations coming forward a woman coming forward um to discuss some things that happened both this woman and this man king and queen of swords are in the upright um swords in the upright when it's the king and the queen represents possible legal proceedings lawyers and truth tellers and this is a hangman there it is here's the sun brought happier times to kendrick to expose certain energy hmm. now seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck is as you sow so shall you reap so it, it's literally like you know, Drake, you, you poke the bear until you got mauled. Queen of Wands in the upright. Falling over the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Somebody walking away from you due to a huge secret here. And this is Eight Cups. So this is like eight separate important people separating themselves from Drake due to very very big secrets okay there is something that is attached to a young lady that could possibly have him investigated if not worse queen of cups when the queen of cups comes out yeah queen of cups king of cups so both um Kendrick and his wife were a tower for Drake. And the king and queen of cups are the intuitive of, of the deck. So these are people that are tapped in spiritually. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. My throat is getting scratchy out of nowhere. Whew. Yeah, these are the intuitives of the deck. So... <clears throat> you dealing with these intuitives shows me this is also that energy of touch not mine anointed do my profit no harm because here's the tower from speaking against someone who is an intuitive someone that is a considered like a griot someone who is like a prophet of their time I don't know why my throat literally just felt like it got really raspy and it started closing up at this point. Oh my gosh. Um, 
all I can say is there's just much more to come every week. There's going to be something else. Yeah, you have people already separating from you due to this energy and these secrets coming out. Um, and then other people juggling if they were going to let you go due to this King of Swords here. But the King of Swords is the one that brought the boom. He dropped the giant. He literally cut the head off the dragon. And this is where justice comes in. And now this Two of Pentacles is the hangman right here. This Two of Pentacles is people juggling what to do, what to think, how to feel, now that things have been illuminated, now that things have come out about your Knight of Wands activity. And finally, Justice came out, and Justice falls right here between the Queen of Wands and the Sun. Things done for fun, or things done while celebrating, while being in that turn up energy. Someone that you were partying with, partaking with, hanging out with, someone very close to you had access to this information. And also I'm looking at the temperance here. This is how several parties got balanced through a new beginning. Yeah, he showed the world the alleged sneaky behavior attached to your Knight of Wands energy. And now you got the weight of the world on your shoulders because th these are like cinder blocks. This is not something you can just shake off. Yeah. Six of Wands, moving forward towards victory from this toxic energy, the devil, and celebrating. So, you know, no matter what, it's like if Kendrick has to step away from music, he it's like my time here is done. I did what I came to do. The Fool with the Knight of Pentacles. And the Ten of Wands. Yeah. Um, now, we know the fool take is a leap of faith. So, him taking his leap of faith to go off into battle with Kendrick is slowing down his money and putting the weight of the world on his shoulders. And now he's juggling. He feels extremely betrayed. Okay. And we know the Ten of Swords is also the card of being left, you know, <laughs> to perish. Oh, my gosh. And, and this is Kendrick skating on him. He moved forward and victoriously moved on swiftly and professionally. And like Robin Hood, he allowed this song to be used so that everyone can receive money. Everybody can eat. Everybody can do well from content. And for that very reason alone, this is what was the vehicle that took this song around the world. Once everybody realized that they could sow seeds and invest in this by giving content, it was going to bear fruit. It was going to bring a big harvest for everyone. So the strategy behind this, like this is why you can't mess with a thinking man. And the King of Swords definitely is a thinking man. And, and here he is, the emperor, the new emperor, okay? He redistributed the wealth. And this is where the celebration comes from, the Three of Cups. Yep. Sold into the algorithm and allowed everybody to harvest. Now the whole world is watching. This is like marketing genius when you look at it on the back end. Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So 
queen of pentacles and the high priestess, like I said, Kendrick and his wife are very, you know, uh, keyed in, tied in spiritually. I would not be surprised if his wife has high priestess energy, not in, you know, the respect of doing any type of manipulative work, but just being a powerhouse spiritually. Um, I wouldn't expect anything less from someone like Kendrick because he's such a um, powerful mind. The way that he thinks and puts things together is amazing. So you got the Page of Cups here and you got Death. This is literally... Um, no regrets, no surrender, no apologies. I meant to come and conquer. I meant to end a specific journey and a specific energy so that we could give birth to a new energy. And then there's judgment. You might as well play taps, okay? This is also saying that the hand of God was over him, believe it or not, when he decided to call judgment. And him calling judgment through that song called for the rest of the world to take a look and also align in judgment. And in secret, it's like, who? I mean, there is a lot going on to where things were happening to, I want to say, pigeonholed not just Kendrick, but certain artists in secret. And now it's like the tables have been flipped over. The energy has been reversed and it's put Drake in a position to where now he's the one ostracized and the industry, you know, as far as his, <laughs> his colleagues, you might as well say they're having a second line carrying what's left of his career right on down to the hip hop cemetery. So here it is. Yes, this, this shows that he is separated from his, his wife, the two of cups, but the two of cups means like, this is his twin flame. This is like, you know, the love of his life. Okay. And I would not be surprised if they are twin flames because I keep seeing a lot of spiritual energy and twin flames are spiritual relationships. They are literally spiritual marriages put together by the most high in the spirit realm. And then, you know, people can choose to be together in the earthly realm. So their, their marriage is way bigger than just them coming together physically spiritually they are a powerhouse so he knew when he made this decision that it could you know ostracize him it could possibly bankrupt him and it was going to be an unrequited offer But here it is. Finally, four of swords to the world. And that falls on top of death. Kendrick did what no one else could do. And he literally laid Drake's influence, his career, and his standing to rest. Did he completely kill his career single-handedly? Um, I'm not going to say he completely took his career single-handedly, but he put it on life support for sure. It's an ICU. So he does have a lot of love for his wife, the independent woman. He loves her immensely. And, you know, he's facing, you know, Drake speaking about, you know, everything coming to an end and her moving forward. 
out of a toxic situation. Uh oh, wait a minute. And we got the Empress who falls over the Two of Cups. And actually what Drake did was renew his interest in fighting for his family, fighting for the love of his life, reevaluating their marriage. Kind of funny, um, this card, she looks similar to his wife too, if you've ever seen his wife. So here it is, her moving forward, you know, leaving him behind, taking the baby with her, because that is a baby that is in the ship with her, brought heavy regret and remorse, and this was a huge unrequited offer, something that he did not want to happen. And he's trying to find new ways to reinvest in his family. Yeah, there's the new actions, you know, hope, ways of thinking about how to preserve either the relationship or how to make amends and create a new bond. Because he, he doesn't like this being alone. He doesn't like this separation four of uh, cups here. So, you know, Drake, this was, this was the worst thing you could have done to address this, but this was the spark that he needed because once he faced this betrayal, the 10 of swords, You sent him into seclusion. Remember, it took Kendrick, you know, what, two weeks? He went off to himself. And if anybody knows, you know, the um, the hermit in tarot is the one that goes off to themselves and they study. And when they emerge, they come back as a scholar. So it wasn't that it need, he needed two weeks to figure out how he was going to respond. He took two weeks to make sure that he had done his proper research before he emerged. Because you addressing his wife, the independent woman, was the biggest betrayal. And he decided that he was going to return the favor with regret and remorse after possibly having you looked over by law enforcement, the Hierophant. Sheesh. So he's still, you know... No matter what happened between him and his wife, he's still, you know, obsessed with the idea of moving forward. You know, he, he loves his wife no matter what. And this is where the judgment came in from the Five of Swords, the conflict in communication or the harsh communication with the diss tracks, right? And this is how he gave you judgment. Judgment is the final call before God comes back to collect the saints. So he knew when he came back after he did his research in this hermit mode that he was going to bury you and he was going to bury you for the last time. There was not going to be an opportunity for a back-to-back. -back. He knew that. He was obsessed with cutting you off over these secrets, cutting you off from the public, cutting you off from your standing, 
Literally, like I said, he removed the head from the dragon. He literally cut the head off the dragon when he released these secrets. Yeah. He came through as an emperor. He decided that he was going to control everything from this point on out when he released this diss track with the conflict and communication, the five of swords, the harsh communication. And boom. This was how he was going to cut you short was releasing the secrets, the moons, the things unknown, the things unseen. And it was because you attacked his family, his marriage. So he decided the way that he could attack your family and your marriage was to deal with the energy and the knowledge that he obtained about the Ace of Wands. Things that you have done allegedly with your phallic symbol. And this is a man who's willing to fight for his family. He is the head of his family. He's saying that he is the father of his child. He will not let you play with his family. Once you touched his family, all gloves were off. Nobody touches his family. Um, he was going to protect his family at all uh, cost. And he was going to make sure this was the last time you had to learn this lesson. And Lord have mercy. I think we all learned along with you. Because, I mean, I've never seen a diss track released at 8.30 something in the morning on a Sunday while people are in church on Cinco de Mayo. That... All of that is something different, like, right? <laughs> goodness gracious. Who, um, should I dig a little bit more or should I wrap this up? Because we're only doing the aftermath of this song a week later. So I'll do a couple of oracles and then I'm going to tap out. Okay, show me the energy, oracles, of what's to come for here. Now that the song is out. And y'all, the fact that the Biden administration used, I want to say the Euphoria song. Was it, it was either Euphoria or Meet the Grams. I think it was Euphoria. But they use the lyrics. Whichever one that was where he was talking about, I hate this and I hate that. They use that for their campaign to throw a diss at Trump. I have never in my life expected to see anything like this. Okay, so we've got pride and gain. So here it is. He used your pride against you, Drake. He sat back and he waited and watched how you did, you know, what you were doing. Because as you can see, this person with pride is sitting here with this crown in front of the internet. So now he's the one wearing the crown and he gets to watch everybody on the internet gain. It's not just him. He, he literally took the crown and redistributed the wealth throughout the kingdom, which is the people across the world. Homeless. So homeless is like, you know, not just being physically homeless, but being displaced. Um, we know that right now Drake is displaced. We also know that he's been selling properties, you know, in the United States. So... Homeless in this sense means that he no longer has a home in hip hop. His standing is on shaky ground in music, in the entertainment industry. And this was a trap. 
Drake thought he had the upper hand, but actually Kendrick was baiting him into this situation. Yeah, he walked into this trap blindly. Merit making, okay? So Kendrick's at peace with this and it's almost like he feels like he's one with God. He's done he's done his big one. He he did what he felt was right in the eyes of not only his family but the creator and his sweetheart and his child. So wow imagination so remember you know drake said that he had made this up that they had planted the information well that's in reverse so that's telling me what i've been seeing um since last week that that is not true that these things actually do have some merit and this is this is drake he got him backed into a corner he's scared he went from being prideful, thinking that he had this in the bag, to being backed in the corner and scared. And now he's furious because he's been displaced in the industry. And you mentioning Kendrick's uh, relationship with his wife was the trap. You didn't even realize that you had set yourself up. Here we go at the bottom of the deck, loneliness. And you walked into this blindly and Kendrick obliged with the okay. And now bottom of the deck, you feel like you, you came to bully, but now you feel like being bullied. Cause as you can see, Everybody is laughing. Yeah, what, what's that? Um, what's that sound that's on uh, TikTok? Said they're all gonna laugh at me. Jeez, and and the, they the internet hasn't stopped laughing yet. So compromise, you know. Um, literally, this was the compromise that brought the merit making. Um, robbery oh wow robbery falls under imagination remember drake said that there was a robbery at his house that may come out to be a fallacy in some sort something about that may come out that this is not what it, it seems and i'm going to end it here with confinement like i said um y'all this is bigger, this is way bigger than what it looks like. Um, don't be surprised if the person who's locked up is even saying that this is not what they're saying that it is, okay? Ooh, Drake, you stepped in it. You stepped in it big time. So, scheduled an inducement, which once again shows that Kendrick is a great mind. He literally allowed Drake to walk into a trap. By him not responding, Drake thought that he had won. He thought he had, you know, he thought he had him like he had Meek Mills, not knowing that Kendrick was literally just riding this out, waiting until he had verified certain information to make sure certain things weren't just gossip, allegedly. And then when he dropped what he dropped, it was completely unexpected. And then he dropped back to back. Literally, he pulled a back to back on Drake in less than 24 hours. And the, the irony of it is, Drake, when you did that song with the AI, with Tupac and Snoop, you opened the door for this because you tried to use the West Coast against Kendrick. And Kendrick brought the West Coast and the rest of the world against you. How do you use somebody else's culture against them, somebody else's sound, somebody else's energy? 
and then be surprised when they use that same energy, that same culture that belongs to them for the win. Look at here. Apology and accident. Well, it's too late for that. It's like you go from being furious to apologizing like, oh my God, what did I do? I wish I never got into this. I was about to stop, but yeah, you got adventure. So here it is. You jumped out here. You jumped off the porch being adventurous. And it led to, you know, the downfall of your career. The death card. But this ended up being good news for Kendrick because you walked into this blindly. And the idea of him merit making, the compromise that he made, the idea that he came up with was to literally flip this whole thing on his axis and give the power back to the people by giving people the opportunity to monetize this, which means they could do all the content they wanted to cover this, investigate, come back, investigate, come back. Look at this. You see this? Real estate. Imagination in reverse, robbery, real estate. Um, now, we know what just... One of the things that just happened at his house, you know, we got the the security guard that was injured. Thank God he's alive. Um, we had the robbery that just happened. The 911 call was just released. Imaginary, uh, imagination in reverse. So it's like, this is a nightmare. You can't believe that this is real, okay? This, this is like the worst outcome that could have ever came out of this for Drake. He never imagined that all of this would come out of this conflict. Brought all this stress and anxiety to himself. What he thought was going to bring luck ended up being the biggest disturbance ever. And Kendrick is just, he's focused on, you know, I want to repair whatever I can with this relationship with my wife. Got commitment here. Good news. Like I said, he wants to repair this with his wife. He's working on fighting to get back into this commitment in somehow, some way. withdrawal so at this moment withdrawing this idea from the internet it's like he's gonna fall back and let this song continue to permeate and do what it is that he it's done he, he's considering putting this to bed um being done with this because it's really not much more he needs to do at all after this song drops And the reason why is because it did everything it needed to do. It brought it into everything and it isolated Drake. And it was all a strategy from the very beginning. Um, Kendrick was playing chess. I guess um, Drake was playing Uno. I don't know what the hell Drake was thinking. But this is the difference between... You know, someone who raps and someone who is a lyricist. Lyricists usually are built different. The way that they think, the way that they can um, string together words. It comes from a totally different thought process because they have this thing where they have a genius that other people just don't have. Let's remember, this is a Pulitzer surprise. Um, you know, a Pulitzer, a Pulitzer Prize award winning uh, rapper and author and just like someone who, he's a brilliant mind. He's a brilliant mind. 
this this was not going to be, you know, and this is no shot at um, Meek Mills. But the mindset of a Kendrick Lamar and a Meek Mills is, con is completely different. You need more than just a ghostwriter to come at Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar, like an Eminem, like a Tech Nine, like a Snow the Product. Like these are the people that can dismantle your whole ghostwriting team. So you can't just come at them the way you would come at your average rapper because the, the way that they can string together words and thoughts and they have you know, double and triple and quadruple entendres and how they can knit a story together is like none other. And I guess Drake just learned the hard way. I guess Drake, <laughs> this was in God's plan too. So I'm going to go ahead and end this reading here. And um, wow, <laughs> just to think all of this stuff happened in just one week's time. And we still got the whole rest of the year to go. We haven't even stepped into summer yet. Well, I'm going to end this reading here. Angel spirit guides and ancestors, please send the energy back through the portal. Close the portal behind you so no energy gets left behind. And to all of you, this reading is adjourned, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Baby, this was a doozy. <laughs> it's getting harder and harder to do these readings because I don't know how I can keep finding safe words when people are doing so many things that are considered unsafe. But... I'll continue to be as creative as I can. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.